What is going on YouTube, it is Flawfish here, and welcome to a brand new series here called Hurdling Challenge, in which I try to get Thomas Hurdle four goals in a game, which is pretty exciting if I do say so myself in the whole opportunity of it, using his Hot Live card, which again looks like a pretty beast card here, but nonetheless, I, ha I either have 13 games to do it, or if I get four goals in a game with him, I have to completely change up my entire roster here, which again is laid out pretty good here. Um, you can kind of see the lines here. Rick Nash, the main line to focus on is the Nash Hurdle and Granlin line. Um, and other than that, you know, just going to show off all the lines, I guess. Uh, we need to apply an injury card to Ekman Larson if we have one, which I sure as heck hope we do. Come on, have one, four, and four, and we don't have enough. Dang. Well, looks like we're going to have to sub in someone. Um, for left defense, this was unexpected, uh, and we need a left defenseman, so we need someone who's an offensive defenseman, preferably from Phoenix, or Campbell, Campbell will work, there we go, alright, <laughs> there we go, Ekman Larson's normally there, but we're rocking uh, Campbell instead, and let's go ahead and let's play a game here, uh, actually just lost my first game in a long, long time. Uh, the game before this one, this it was just a warm-up game. And um, without further ado, though, um, it is a game that I actually went in that I lost on a very, 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 very random goal. Um, he ended up uh, hitting the goalie, and then as I passed it, and the puck came to my player, and then uh, my player just could not get it. Uh, his player got it, and I absolutely rocked him. And um, when his player was falling down, it hit this puck right onto his guy's stick. And he just did, and then while I hit the player, his player collided into one of my players, into Mike Smith, who is my backup goalie right now because he's got a fatigue on him. But um, he collided into Mike Smith, and then the shot went in, and it scored, and it counted, which kind of ticked me off because, eh, it shouldn't have happened. I mean, yes, I hit him into the goalie, but I hit him a far ways away. Like he just slid forever into him, which is like why. Nonetheless. That's enough about that game. Let's get into this game. So, yeah, I'm fairly excited for this series. It's all going to be live commentaries uh, and full gameplays, which is a little bit different um, from most Hut series that I've seen. And, again, the whole changing up line combinations is definitely different here. But um, let's see here. He's definitely not skipping the replay or the intro. And there's this weird little numbers. I don't know if you can see them, but like right where that glove is on the, the stick, like right there, you can see like a number or something, um, like just this white line. And it's not on my TV screen because I can actually see it on the cap card. And there we go. We're finally in game. All right. So it looks like he's got Krejci, Grabner, and I don't know who his left wing is, but he's going for the top and Nash. So we have two Nashes against each other. And he's just going for the quick deeks. But, again, we're getting rid of that pretty fast. Uh, it looks like he's got them boosted, probably, because they're skating pretty fast. There we go, up to Hurdle. Hurdle, going to come in and going to snipe. Oh, big glove save from Anderson. Again, that's not my favorite place to take a shot, but I'm coming in across. I didn't really have much of a play. I was going to get hit, and um, it is just the best play there for me to do. And if I would have passed it, I would have been in probably a bad situation. All right, now that we've got a little bit of room to work with here, let's try to get a cycle going. All right, and let's pass this around. Nope, nothing going on that cycle, and nothing going there. All right, and let's actually chip this up along the boards, up to Sagan, and then all the way across. Nope, and then let's try to chip that up. Nope, not going on there. There we go, nice play to avoid that, and let's spring Dubinsky. Come on, Dubinsky. All right, and he's just going to let us walk around there. Bit of a mistake from him there, as he did walk. let me walk around. <laughs> Actually, bit of a mistake on that pass, as I was right there. Um, no fights coming in. All right, perfect. And let's swing this up to Havlat, and let's get a deke and back down. Nope, I couldn't get the second one. If I get the second one, I'm good. Um, but it's not getting that first one. There we go, broken shot. That puck actually came pretty close to the camera here, um, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, but yeah, so get the pocket on the broken shot. That was a nice play there. Uh, let's put it to the right. I'm kind of nervous with Niemi in net because he's either really good or really bad. 
All right, let's stop and then let's actually go around again. He's giving us this whole space behind to work with. And then draw him here, draw him there. Again, no one here. So we can kind of work in now. And we're going to get a good quality shot. Again, it's really, if you drive the slot in this game, you're going to have a lot more success. Let's get this wide. There we go. Um, and then let's ship this off. And then let's dump it in deep. There we go. And there we go. Win the battle down low. Oh, oh that would have been so saucy. That would have been such a nice goal. Alright, let's try to get the hit here. Nothing going on there. And he somehow gets through five people. Don't ask me how. Alright, the puck's going to be frozen. Maybe not. Alright. Alright, so we got a power play up and coming. Which will be nice. Hurdle with the deke. And is that two penalties? Is that two? That's only one? Really? He tripped me. That should clearly be two, but... Ah. Alright, let's just try to keep this in. Again, down low. Let's work the down low. Work Gretzky's office a little bit. Alright, now he's chasing. He's chasing, which is good. We want, we want him to chase into the corner. So then we can open up the point and the slot. Again, Linus Cog can do a bit of a beast mode shenanigans. Um... No, nothing going on with that poke. Alright, and let's just keep this down low and sauce it back around the corner. Keep him wide, and then again, he's going to let us drive in. But we're going to fake this, and we're actually going to swing it right back out to Granlund. Down low, let's go into the corner again here, and let's drop this around. Again, I really wish my AI would just kind of react to that a little bit better. Um, because it is pretty common. Oh, that was a nice chance. I should have finished that. Couldn't get the forehand backhand off in time, but I opened up a pretty good lane for myself there. And he's trying to deke in, but puts himself offside. Too many dekes there. Um, so we got the hurdle line. Oh, again, win the face off. No, he's going to win with a tie up. So he's got helm. All right, and let's swing this around. Again, we're really not giving him a lot, which I like. Up to hurdle, hurdle, come in, come in, nice curl and drag, nice curl and drag, and let's work the down low, feed it. Oh man, that was, I should have seen that coming. That was a great hit. That was a great anticipation from him. Um, let's ship this back up though. See if we can hit Havlat there. I really wanted to hit Havlat there, but just the pass was a little bit off. The passing is just a little bit off in this game. It's not as crisp as what it was in the first week, but again, he keeps on deking himself offside. Which I am perfectly fine with, to be honest. If you're going to deke yourself offside, go right ahead. And then we got Hansel coming in. Alright, so with just a little bit of time left, we're just going to try to get a short side shot there. And then probably our only option to score there was that shot. So why not take it? <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? If he ever hits X to skip all the replays. Again, I think I dominated that period. Uh, his shots shot there, got the rebound, which is good. Um, and then this one right here is probably my best chance right there. Um, actually, this was another really good chance. I had a lot of really good chances there. And definitely looking like I can, I have a pretty good chance of winning this game. Again, the shots aren't exactly like a high difference, but I'm not trying to shoot from everywhere. I'm trying to shoot from inside kind of the face-off dots and on a triangle into the net. Um, it's just where, where you work. Where it works best to score from in this game, again, top of the circle works decently well, but um, I tend to try to score nicer goals that I can at least. So, all right. This guy clearly doesn't know how to skip a replay, but whatever. There we go. All right. Let us move on to the next period eventually once he gets done watching whatever he was watching. Uh, is he AFK? It looks like he is AFK. No, he is not, which is really bizarre. Again, we're going to drive. And again, I like to try to switch things up. So instead of him thinking we're going wide, we're actually going to cut in. Oh, there we go. That was nice D. There we go. And we're going to chip this out wide. Let's see if we can cut in. Ah, I should have just gone for the puck instead of the hit and the poke. Alright, stick lift, there we go, nice stick lift, and spring hurdle, 
There we go. And then back to the point. Bogosian coming in. Again, good quality shot. Um, I don't know why I'm not on the Winter Classic Arena. I have good luck on that arena. Um, I actually beat the number one ranked PlayStation guy within like the first week or so um, on there. But yeah, uh, let's see. There we go. Franson didn't mean to pass that. I was actually trying to change players, but um, unexpected pass. My guy just could not pick up the puck there. And he's just going to try to deke and puts himself offside again. Kind of a stupid deke. I, why put yourself offside? Um, especially at the blue line. And I do those in the ASHL a lot, though, mind you. But still, that's when people know I'm doing them. And it's not AI. Because AI is not exactly the best at recognizing what deke you're going to do, when you're going to do it. There we go. Nice outlet pass. There we go, Perron, and let's circle, and let's spin this, and there we go, that's a nice goal. That's one of my favorite plays to do. I've, I have try to do that so often. Uh, it's like I'm going out to the point, but then my guy skates into the slot, and just perfect pass across. It gets the goalie moving, and when you get the goalie moving in this game, you're gonna, it's going to be a lot easier to score. And unfortunately, can we slam on the brakes? Yes, we can. There we go. This team looks to be doing decent so far without Ekman Larson. Maybe I won't use Ekman Larson this week uh, or for this this version because I can use him for the next one. All right. And nice block. McDonough. There we go. McDonough. Big McDonough coming in there. And we got the McDonough Bogosian rush going on here. All right. And let's actually work this down low. Again, tried to get a little bit of a puck protection there, but didn't work. Um, and he's probably going to try to deke. And nope. And I'm there for the hit too, which is double nice. All right, let's ship it up and down the ice. And again, let's not skate into the goalie because that can be a penalty. Oh, come on. That was such a that was such a dive. He was like five seconds afterwards, and it was a double minor too. That kind of sucks. All right, let's see here. Let's win this back around, up to the middle, up to the left side, back to Nash, back to Hurdle. There we go. Good plays, and get the puck in. There we go. Just kill a little bit of time there. And I anticipated him going that way this time, which is why I was able to react to that. Uh, do I take the fight? I was going to, but I think we'll be okay without taking it. So there we go. And let's just feed this across again. And we're going to have a break. And couldn't finish backhand, but nonetheless, still got another good quality chance here. Not getting him, letting him get set up or getting in the zone at all without going offside. And I'm probably frustrating him a lot right now, which is really nice because when people get frustrated, they start to do stupid things. Um, I would know that because when I get frustrated, I start to do stupid things too. And it's just harder to score. There we go. All right. Face off in our zone. We still have two minutes and 33 seconds left. That's his first shot. We actually have more shots shorthanded than what he does on the power play. Our face offs are low, though. So let's try to go for a tie up here to bring that up. There we go. And we won that, and let's just try to chip it out. And that's going to be a penalty for sure. No play on the puck, and he's definitely getting two there for sure. Maybe more, but um, let's win this back. And that should kill off most of the penalty. Again, he's trying to deke, but he's not doing a very good job. And I was trying to not pass. He keeps on going offside. I don't know why you're going offside so much. Like, <laughs> why even bother? Um... All right, we got the first line. I, have, I wanted Hurdle out. I wish you could set your four-on-four four lines like you can um, in Versus. Because to me, in HUD, it's more important than in Versus. Versus whatever, your line combinations are your line combinations. But, man, it's just it's just such a different ball game, I guess. And so it, it was only two. There we go, up to Granlin, and that's going to be offside. Let's just curl it around anyways. And it comes all the way back down because that's where the pass was from. GG no re and again weaker shot rebound Niemi is there Niemi is looking like a brick wall holy cow and let's try to hit him out of the box oh just offside just slightly offside all right let's bring out the hurdle line and again I hate how the face off comes all the way back down but it is what it is I guess it deems it as intentional and all right we're going on the power play here let's try to make weave in is that offside yeah I think that was offside unless you touch the puck, but regardless, 
let's go ahead and let's try to win this face off and go top right corner. Nope, he's going to do a tie up. So he really likes his tie up face offs and as well as his deke set. He, I mean, he can pull off the dekes, but he's not going anywhere. Ah, yuck. Oh, big save coming in. Niemi just saved me there. That's a weird little spot. And I'm just kind of skating around him right there. Oh, he got a nice poke check in there. All right, and let's cover the guy to the right and slide back left and then cover it. Again, Niemi's coming up big. Here we go up to Sagan. And I think we can afford to kind of cut back. There we go, penalty coming in. Is this going to be, yeah, it looks like it's a penalty shot. All right, and is this AI? No, this is human. So let's try to just do something a little bit different here. There we go. Do a little bit of an X sec there, a fancier X sec with a nice little spin and the backhand hold. And we are up 2 nothing on a goal from Tyler Sagan. Always nice to get that goal. There we go. All right, and there we go. Nice, nicely done there. And let's just drive up and let's feed this across and let's get that all, all off the post. Granlin, again, is a really good player. Uh, let's get get this down low and then cycle it back out. Oh, that was a nice play. That was a really nice play. Again, we are now causing havoc on him. Uh, let's get this across. I think I got a little bit of sick on it to slow it down, luckily. Alright, and let's just slow things down a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's the period. He's not going to be able to get a chance. We might be able to, though. No, that's the period. Nicely done, up to nothing. Got a big glove save that period. Realistically, could be two one. But again, that play was kind of broken in my opinion, and probably shouldn't have gone across. He probably shouldn't have had the puck. But nonetheless, we're doing fairly good. So we have four minutes on the power play, and um, uh, five fifty three of time on attack, which is fairly meh. It's solid. Uh, we do have the penalty shot goal, which is always nice as well. Um, let's see. Again, he likes to put himself offside. I'd love to see what his offsides are at the end of this. Alright, nice hit. Alright, Hurdle's got some speed. Here we go. Covering off most of that. There we go. There we go. Nice poke. There you go, Hurdle. There you go. Psych. Nice pass into the slot. Ooh, that was a nice play. McDonut got to bust the score sheet, buddy. Five hole, nothing new in there. Cycle it back to the point because we have nothing going on there. Back into the slot. Ooh, Nash just a little bit away from getting that. And again, nice defense coming in from Hurdle. Actually, from everyone. Uh, and then we got time to pass this off, so let's do that. Ah, just out of Sagan's reach. I should have just done a regular pass. Nonetheless, we're going to hammer that guy in the corner and kind of do a nice little slide away. Do the sagging. Alright, 2 nothing. so so far so good, but nothing for Hurdle. Hurdle, I've got two points with every game I've played with him in. Maybe the series will be the curse of the hurt. But let's see here. Let's try to win this back. There we go, up to Franzen. To Havlat. Up to the Nuge, there we go, I like that breakout. And then let's cycle back here. Again, he's just gonna leave me that shot there. A uh, bit of a weaker shot to shoot, but um, uh, again, not a huge fan of that. All right, I don't like my, what I see here, so I'm gonna cycle it out. Nice little spin move. And we're just gonna come in and waltz right in and get the pass back and nothing going on with the shot there. And we got another power play. I thought we had another power play coming, but again, just overall giving him absolutely nothing, which I absolutely love to see. Uh, let's try to win this. Nope, nothing going on. All right, and Sagan, back to the point. With this, oh, there's no one there. And I couldn't get the stick lift in, which absolutely sucks even more. And nice poke check there. He had the follow through, but just couldn't finish. And let's... Rewind this and then back down again. All right, now I got a bit of a breakout here. Uh, that pass is just a little bit out of the reach there, which does, which is a bit unfortunate. But again, we'll take it. We'll take a face off here and we'll just go for the tie up ourselves. There we go. 
I had no intention of doing anything other than tying up, so I was ready for him to do it as well. Nice play there. I don't know how he got that through, but again, it does happen. Trying to feed it into the slot, you're actually a lot more successful at it than what you think, especially even if there's like 15 bodies in the way. But big hit coming in from Campbell. Let's wheel this around the net and let's sauce this over to the right side. And again, Nash is just a big body. See if we can get it to Granlin. Back to Nash. And let's finish this. There we go. He His own player ran into him. That was a nice play finish off there. Um, perfectly done between Granlin, Nash, and Nuge finishing it off, following up. And that's the exact play. He overcommitted to the hit, and I took advantage of it. Is the pass going to hit 100%? No. And he got a penalty there for goaltender interference. A goal that realistically, penalty that's kind of BS, but a goal that was very BS. So let's try to get the face off there. But nonetheless, I think this game is pretty much done. There we go. Nice D there. I anticipated that pass really well. And that's what I try to do. I try to cut off that passing lane that they have. All right. Again, let's just get this pass. Nope. Nothing going there. Linus Gog's going to come in with the big hit. All right. And let's just control this up. And again, control, 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 control behind the net and then in front and nothing doing there let's get this deep again and we're just going to cause havoc now because he's going to get a little bit anxious here trying to get a goal so we're going to have a bit of space to kind of we're going to have get him running around more and when you get someone running around again it is very easy to set up a cross crease in their zone again it's going to come in and waltz in and again nice play there Sagan can you just shoot that on net there I shot it on net because I was hoping someone would follow up for the rebound, but unfortunately not. Um, and another very good shift in their zone. I'm really liking this. And he gets an interference penalty, which is kind of bizarre. I don't agree with that penalty at all. Um, but again, hit him away from the play. That's, a th that's my play that I love trying to do here. And let's try to get the puck here. Nice poke check from coming in from Hurdle. Again, he gets it somehow, and there we go, broken up, and he's just going to overcommit to a hit again, and again, we're going to try to catch him running around here, got to watch these poke checks, there we go, and let's just drive in deep, dodge the hit, and work it back to the point, see if we can hit hurdle coming back across, no we can't, so let's carry this around again, and up to the point, feed it across, Feed it back down. Nope. Feed it down. There we go. Nope. Pinch in from the point. Let's go. Aggressive pinch. And I got a penalty there. I think that'll probably be charging. How many am I getting for charging? It's definitely a charging penalty, so I don't even need to watch that to know what it was. It's okay. Off to a good start nonetheless, so... Uh, let's ship this up and hey my battery's low See I like that as opposed to your controller getting circle spinny dots on it like the Xbox controller because to me that wastes more battery Flickering it on and off like that especially two lights Xbox partner with Duracell Illuminati sh shenanigans going on there There we go nice shot block Stitch this back up again, and oh, and a bit of a bad break for him. Now he's starting to get some bad breaks, which is unfortunate, but again, it's pretty much after the game was out of reach, and again, let's just slap this in. He likes to really overcommit to the hit, so I'm going to play a little bit more passive here, and hopefully we can cut this off for the icing. There we go. Again, playing passive there, he's going to try to stretch it out, and I believe he's going to be quitting the game right now, not entirely sure, but that'd be my bet. We're calling a timeout, but again, my bet would be one of those. Actually, let's take the opportunity here, see if I can reach down, and there's a cord. Beauty. All right. So as we wait for him from the pause, I, wh whatever he was doing, um, it is very solid game here. Um... Let's see here. There we go. Alright, let's win this back to the point. There we go. And just don't yeah, he's AFK now, which is just wonderful. We'll just try to we'll try not to score on him while he's AFK. Alright, he's back. He's back. That's all that's important. Alright, and then drop this in front to hurdle. 
Nice play, but couldn't finish. And let's just try to poke this in deep again. Just being a bit of a pest now. And got a good stick lift in, but again, he's trying to shoot. Now he's just, like, he's, he's, you can see he's frustrated. He's trying to shoot when there's five people in the way. And instead of trying to create something, he's trying to he's trying to create something from nothing and as opposed to just, you know, being a little bit more simplifying his game here. So we're actually going to cover the front of the net right here and force him out wide. There we go. And see, it worked for us there. Again, not to the extent that I wanted to, but um, it looks like we're going to finish off this game fairly strong, up 3-0. I really don't see how we can lose this game, but you never know. We can find a way to somehow, I'm sure. So let's not take it for granted. There we go. He's going to get a big hit coming in, and we're going to have a nice two-on-one. Let's finish this. Nope. Or two-on-one, oh, actually. Not even two-on-one. And power play to end the game here. All right. Um, right. Let's win this draw back to Linus Gog and try to rifle it in top left corner. Anderson's fairly good at short side, it seems, so... Um, that play doesn't really work a ton. Get the hit in. And let's just slow things down a little bit now. Or speed it up and feed it across. See, that time he, he read what I was going to do. Again, though, that's the thing. That's the whole thing with driving behind the net is because it opened up so many lanes for me just because he wasn't expecting it. And, again, when someone's not expecting you to do something, it creates a lot more opportunities here. Uh, and then again, let's just try to win this back. That should be the game. 3 nothing win for the first episode, but let's see how, more importantly, how Hurdle did. So we're definitely getting promoted into Division 5 here, but let's go into box score here. And Hurdle did not hit the score sheet. Um, we were the home team though, so let's go ahead and let's look at time on ice here. Niemi with a shout out. Um, Hurdle with three shots on goal though. Uh, one hit. Again, nothing major. Um, Lower face-off percentage. He's normally pretty good on the face-offs. He was just doing really good with the tie-ups and had a better centerman. But again, it's a solid game for Hurdle. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the first episode. As always, take it easy and peace out.